take that breath, start start adjusting themselves. All right. Who wants it more? And I th I think I think it's Mel. I think Mel wants this. Yo, Mel's listening to Paramore right now. Mel is in the zone. Down, down throw crescent kick, flame breath, good, good 24%. Oh no! No panic from Mel. Okay. Mel on just the playing ledge. confident and calm. This could be it on the ledge. Woo! I love. Mel is so in the zone. Mel is locked in. Oh no! Uh, nice grab. Back throw. Scary dodge. Throw. Going for a back throw. I love that recovery. This, oh my god. That was <laughs> the very last hit situation. What the side B whipped is. Mel okay. just be careful how they get off ledge. That might be it. Good fallout. Good fallout. Let's go! You're, you're a winner of the Philadelphia Spring 2020 for Arcadian is Mel! Absolutely amazing from Mel. Won the Philly Arcadia, not even a top seed, dropped no game, or sorry, dropped no sets. With, 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 it's, it, Philly has not won its own tournament in a long time, and it took a Center City player, someone who does not come out to that many players, to take their dub. Oh my fucking God. We need to get Mel on comps. I got it. No, I want I I I I would interview Mel because I we were, we were speaking earlier. Oh right, my God! Mel. Well, so Mel needs a headset. They'll get a headset. They'll All get right. A headset. They'll get a headset. They're good headset. Holy Ooh. Philly! What a PA Arcadian! finally won the yes! Arcadian. And I told every I I told you I was like no nah. I was like I think Zach said yeah third like sinister quacks me okay nah I knew I I have been watching Mel play. I, I have been in Mel believe this entire tournament. I knew they, they could win this tournament. I was very confident and they played so good. Literally beating some of the best people in this bracket. Holy. Definitely did not have a free pass, earned every single win. Yeah. I, I someone gotta go red Mel. Yeah, Mel's run. Let's let's look at Mel's run. So impressive. Mel had to beat. Mel did not go to losers. Didn't drop a nope. set. Nope. Mel did not drop a set. All right. Someone give Mel their headset. You got it. Nah. Nah. Ice, you do it. Ice, you gotta. You gotta. Rock paper scissors. No. Shit. Just we're fit. Hey, well, fit. I got. I stay because it was my idea. I stay. Can me and can me and David interview? All right. Sorry, Ice. I'm sorry, Ice. You can. You can. You can. You can ask questions. It's because I'm black. It's we're what? all black. What? Oh, what? You know what? I mean, I'm Middle Eastern. I'm close. All right. <laughs> I'm a J-Sir, congratulations. Yeah! All right. All right. So, can, will you do me the honor? Uh-huh. Will you do me do me the honor? <laughs> yeah. Do me the honor. Take Finish off the Philly Chalice, baby. Let's go. Sponsored by Grey Goose. All right. Really quickly, tell the story about the Philly Chalice mid-bracket. All right. So, it's mid-bracket. What, what did I win? Did Colin. I beat... Uh, yeah, you beat you beat Steezy in winners you finals. Beat Steezy and hi Ryan. Um, Just I am 22 squad. years old, Moose. Don't worry. Um, yes, thank you. I I won winners finals. David comes up to me and he's like, "Yo, really good shit. You know, calm down. Here you go. Here's the Philly Chalice. It'll help you in grams. I don't smell it, and that's my biggest mistake is to not <laughs> smell it because I look at it and I think, ah, water in a water bottle. Of course, because who would ever sneak in anything? And then I take like a whole gulp and I taste and I feel the burning in my mouth. I'm like, oh shit, this isn't one. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I go, I run to the bathroom. Bathroom's locked, so I have to go outside and spill it. I don't God. know. It's okay. It was it was the power up. You needed it was the, the power, power up, right? You needed to calm down. You, you needed need you needed a down air so you can hit those up airs. Yeah. So also true. Next event, me and Moosh like worked on. Oh, we brainstormed an event like a, it's going to be like a rager party twenty one plus. It's mm -hmm. going to be called up airs and down airs. Bowser has I'm gonna have to think about going that one. Yeah. I'm yeah. a big fan of Bowser up air. All right. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. So I, I have to ask a question. You know, the obvious question. Okay. How does it feel? Oh. Philly has not okay. won their our own Arcadian in like almost a year, if oh, not a year. I guess yeah, it's been a year. I guess you're getting a ride home. Key. Yep. Yeah. I'm um, home. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <sighs> All right. So let's let's talk about your bracket run. Let's talk about your perception coming into this event. My perception. I was seated tenth. 
I came into this going, you know, I went one two at last Winter Arcadian. I mean, last year Spring Arcadian because I got on co-op, I got my job. Like it was better. Uh, it was a really good losers run. But this time I was like, all right, I'm just gonna feel it out. I'm gonna have a good time. Just try and have a fun time with the game. And uh, I did. And then uh, I beat my first two sets. Uh, actually, what the fuck are you guys doing? What the hell? Uh, the Mel supporters. <laughs> Mel supporters. Actually, uh, was my round two. And then I had to fight Jaden round three on stream, yeah! and I was worried about it because Ice was coaching him, and I was like, oh my god, he's gonna camp the fuck out of me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, hold on. This is where I just take an unnecessary shot. Yeah. Ice coaches a team at uh, Arcadia. Arc Arcadia University. Mm -hmm. the, the, the coaching didn't work out so well today, all right? Yeah. yeah. Respectfully, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got Natan, my GOAT, uh, yeah, Natan over there. That was your coach like, for oh, half a bracket. Uh, I did, I did bad in this bracket. I don't know. Nah, man. I need you. <laughs> like, I know, man. Oh my God. I will die for that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he coached me since Jaden. Our set, yeah. Round three, and then round four, I fought quite. Uh, and I told him. I lost him at local host. Really happy that I was able to make the run back. Bob, if he works, please do it. Please look at where you go wrong and. Figure out what you can do better. Um, and then, who's my next? Who's my After next? quite, you then fought uh, Sinister. Sinister. And Sinister is fun. I know a guy from Chicago. I hope he's in the chat. Uh, Rose, and I was just hitting him up before. <laughs> the set's like, shit, I haven't fought Ken in forever. What's the SDI? <laughs> you you had the SDI unlock is all I'm yeah, going to say. He, he let me know. He let me know. He got me. So uh, I'm really happy about that. And then uh, from there you go into Steezy. Uh, you go into All right, chat. I did not know Lucina was broken on Smashville. Okay, I thought maybe it's a skill issue on my part. No, it's Smashville. Uh, oops, I know now. Sorry. All right, yo, I love y'all in the back. Can y'all quiet it down? Yo, 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 yo. We're we're conducting the interview. Can y'all bring the volume down real quick, just a little bit? Thank you. Um, so, and then uh, grand finals happened, or no, winners finals against Steezy, just don't go to Smash Four, I was fine. Yeah. Uh, and then learning to swing second, like, and oh, then, I and then, and then you sit in grand, so and like, grand. what is your thoughts when you're like sitting in grands? Do not choke, do <laughs> not get clipped, do not choke, do not get clipped, and just watch the people playing, see how they're feeling, watch their panic options, get a feel for what they're thinking, and then I can get around that yeah. mid-set. Mm -hmm. So the Ryu at came out game one. I was ready for it. I knew exactly what I needed to SDI, what I needed to watch out for, what I needed to get around. Ken came out, I needed a little refresher. Yep. And the the like, accidental air dodge happened game three, and, and, oops, or game oops. two. And, oops. Then you, and then you kept your composure. I think that was the biggest thing I noticed from, from you from it. I could tell how bad you I'm want sorry. it because you kept your composure so well throughout those sets. Thank a lesser you. player would have just gone through so many panic, so many bad air dodges, but you mm. realized like what you need to do locked in. You were able to keep the composure, I noticed. Thank you. Uh, thank you to the Chicago. <laughs> thank you to Rose for <laughs> fucking <laughs> playing Shotos into me all the time. It was like when I started playing Smash, it was over like competitively, it was over COVID. And I kept jumping into his DPs like an idiot. Is it, is it the guy in chat right now, Res, bro? In, uh, no, that's, uh, that's Danny. No, that's just, oh, that's someone else. I don't guy. think he's in chat. But I, he, I would jump into him like an idiot because I just started playing Smash competitively. <laughs> and he would DP me every time. Yeah. <laughs> every time. And I learned the hard way and what to do. Uh, and I would not be able to be here today without that help. All right, so I have a controversial question to oh, ask no. you. What's up? Do you think you would have beat Philly's strongest soldier, Cherry Peachy, Cherry Jerome Peachy, Ooh. today? Um, I mean, matchup. today, today, yes, because, I mean, I'm up on the set. I know the Luigi matchup. It's a matter of whether I can get around Cherry. If I can learn Cherry, then probably, uh, because goddamn. <laughs> but it entirely depends on that. Uh, okay. If I can't get around Sherry and Sherry can get around me, uh, they've got it. But yeah. if I can get around him even a little bit, then I've got their number. All right, yeah. my last question. What do you say to anybody whose heart was broken by their placement at the Arcadia today? What is your message to them as someone who can no longer enter? Yeah, and somebody went one, two last Arcadia, dude. That's the, that's the other big thing. You went from one, two to winning the whole thing. Yeah, it happened. I want to tell all the people that, like, even O2, I need you, I needed this to be clear. This is my fourth Arcadian. My first Arcadian was over a year ago, last winter Arcadian. I went 0-2. 
uh, both sets were game three. I just collapsed under the pressure. And then the Spring Arcane came around. Sure, I got a cool run. I got 7-2, got fifth. And then Winter Arcane came around. I got 1-2. Point is, don't let a bad result in one Arcadian affect your motivation and your mindset going into Arcadians and going into future brackets. Because there's a lot of factors that go into uh, a performance of a bracket, much less an Arcadian that's super stressed out. And it makes those measurements and factors that are outside of your control way more influential. Mm. So having like a bunch of schoolwork to do, really hard classes, maybe, you know, monetarily, life's in the shitter right now, you know, 2024, a lot of shit going on. Yeah. So all of those outside factors are compiled on in Arcadians. If you did bad at an Arcadian, but you know, you do decently at brackets, even if you don't do decently, you still have stuff you could have learned from yeah. here that you can take into next time. If you like, that's for any bad result, I think. Just remembering that for Arcadians because they're so stressful having those bad results and not letting them affect you is really important because bad results results in general i think don't reflect on you as a person at all if you have the drive and the motivation to get better next time then that's all you need okay good that well said okay yeah. one last one last thing before we get you off the mic um Troy Johnson 1-3 said, Mel would farm the fuck out of Cherry. Temple sucks. Oh, my God. Do you agree with that second statement that Temple sucks? Um, <laughs> on one hand, they did lose the crew battle. Ooh. On the other hand, Merc was not there. Mm -hmm. And on the third hand... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's Sorry. about it. I All mean, right. Well, you don't get a trophy. You, you, get get you, get the, you get the honor of throwing your first place prize in the trash, the Philly Chalice. And money. A lot of money. And a lot of money. So this is uh, David Jones, Gelato. Yep. Mel and signing winner. off. Thank you for having me. Forever. Yay. Well, I mean, well not forever. Because we do forever. have the crew battle coming up, which you get to be one of the captains for as long as you can stay for it. Uh, I if think Troy said they're coming my, to pick you up. I mean, I got a ride now. If they're okay with it, I mean... I think they should do it. I, mean, if, I don't think they won't get here in time. If they want to... I mean... I mean... I'll ask my ride when they get here. I I'll gotcha. ask my ride when they get here. All right, thank you for having me. Have a good night, fellas. Have a good night, chat. You are not good. I don't care. Temple, you are not good. Ignore him. <laughs> He's a camper and a cheeser anyway. Why listen to him? <laughs>